All right, so two last examples here of adding whole numbers. And here, the numbers that we have to add together will be a bit larger, um, which again is okay. So I'm just going to line everything up here. So I've got 2, 1, 6, 3, 4, 5. Of course, if you want to keep the commas in there, you can. Um, I usually leave them out. You know, to me, less stuff is better. We've got 1, 9, 4, 5, 1. Again, notice how I'm making, you know, everything line up, the 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, etc. And then we've got 1, 4, 4, 6, 4, 4. All right, so I'm just going to look every, at everything one column at a time. So if I add the first uh, column in the sense that I mean the rightmost column, I'm going to add 5 and 1 and 4. Well, 5 plus 1 is going to give us 6, and then 6 plus 4 is going to give us 10. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to drop down the 0, and I'm going to carry the 1. I'll stick it right there. Okay, so now we've kind of taken care of that column. Then I'm going to do 1 plus 4, which is 5. 5 plus another 5 is going to be 10. 10 plus 4 is going to be 14. So again, I'm going to drop down the 4, carry yet another 1 to the next column. So let's see, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 6 is going to give us 14. So again, I'm going to drop the 4 down and carry the 1. Um, let's see, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 9 is going to be what, 16, 16 and 4 is going to be 20, so I'm going to drop down the 0, and this time since it's 20, I've got to carry a 2, 2 plus 1 will be 3, plus another 1 will be 4, plus another 4 will be 8, and now 2 and 1 will give us 3, let me stick my plus sign in there, I think it was clear that's what we were doing, and I'm going to put my comma back in there. So it says if we add those together, we'll get 380,440. So I guess let's go ahead and do the other example as well. Same exact idea. And then maybe I want to point out one little thing at the end. I don't know if it's, you know, worth pointing out or not, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Okay, so first off, though, I'm going to do my next example, and then I'll make my little observation. Same idea, so a column at a time. So 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, so I'm just going to drop down the 8, nothing to carry, so I've taken care of that column. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 8 is going to be 11, so I'm going to drop down the 1, and then I'm going to carry the other 1 to the top. So I've taken care of that column. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 3, so 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 6 is going to be 10. So again, if I keep the 0 and then carry the 1. So 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 and 8 is going to be 14. 14 and 1 is going to be 15. So again, I'm going to keep that right digit and carry the other digit. So 1 plus 1 is going to be 2, 2 plus 6 is going to be 8. Um, there's really nothing underneath the 5, so we'll just drop that down. Again, you can think about those as being zeros if you want to in the other place. It's certainly technically correct. Um, so it says, if we, hey, if we add those three numbers together, we'll get 585,018. So, okay, uh, my little observation, again, I don't know how useful it is. Um, let's go back to this column right here. I think that was the one that I saw. We were adding 1, 6, 9, and 4. And, you know, we just kind of went straight down. 1 plus 6 is 7. Oh, what's 7 and 9? Oh, 7 and 9 is 16. And then 16 and 4 is 20. To me, it's, you know, a lot of times it's, it's easier to sort of uh, add things up, not necessarily in order. So I see right away, you know, that 1 and 9, that's going to be a 10. 6 and 4, that also adds up to 10. So really, I know in this column, I've got a 10 and a 10, which is going to give me a 20. And that's exactly what we got before. But, you know, I think uh, I've noticed sometimes people don't look for these sort of little tricks of, 
um, you know, hey, you can take it in any order you want to as long as you as long as everybody gets accounted for. So to me, if I had to add this up again, I wouldn't do it strictly in order. My thought process would be to do, well, hey, that's a 10, 6 and 4, 10 is 10, that's 20. And, you know, if you can do, uh, you know, obviously it only saves a, a, a split second on something like this. But if you have to do tons of arithmetic by hand, eventually, you know, sort of little time-saving things like that can help. So, again, I don't know, maybe you already do that, maybe not. Um, but I think it's a useful little thing to maybe keep in mind.